Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to PSP student management system project tutorial for beginner. Now in the previous tutorial, we show the teacher data in admin panel from the database. So in this tutorial, we are going to have a option so that we can delete the specific uh, teacher data from here. So for it, let's go back to our code and here you can see that currently we are in admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php so here you can see view all teacher data you can see teacher name teacher about teacher emails and here you can see inside this while loop using this dollar info uh, we show the teacher name here you can see teacher name description and the image over here as well so first of all uh, let me just write the table header here first so let me just copy this on control c and i'm going to paste it here then instead of image we are going to say delete so if i now save it then refresh so here you can see we have another column called delete now let's have a delete option for each of the image over here so let's go back and we'll just directly go down and here you can see that in this tier we show every teacher data here so let me just add another td inside this tier so let me just say our here td and here inside this td we are going to mention a anchor tag and inside this anchor tag we will say delete so if i now save it then let's refresh so here you can see we have a delete option right now over here so now let's make some design for the delete button uh, so here you can see uh, we use this class inside the td so let me copy it and i'm going to paste it here and we will also mention a bootstrap class inside this anchor tag let's say btn btn uh, let's say it will be danger control s refresh okay our button look like this now what we want is that if we take our cursor on the button then it will uh, or it should show us the id over here in the uh, left down corner here you can see if i take my cursor over here it should show us id over here uh, so for it uh, we require to write some php code so since we need to write the php code so we need to mention the php tag here so PHP opening and closing. So we'll say over here PHP opening. So the PHP will open over here and it will end uh, after this anchor tag. So here you can see anchor tag opening and anchor tag closing. So before this anchor tag, I'm going to say echo. Then I'll give two double quotation and this double quotation will end after this anchor tag. After this closing anchor tag, then we'll give the semicolon here so uh, this anchor tag will be inside this double quotation echo double quotation uh, so here you can see href so here we are going to give to single quotation because uh, if we give double quotation inside the href uh, we will get a error because we already have double quotation outside so here uh, inside this href we are going to mention a psc file name uh, where we want to uh, like write the query or code in order to delete the specific teacher data so let's say we are going to write the code in the same file uh, which is admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php so here let me just say admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php so then we are going to give a question mark sign so that we can also get the id from here so in order to get the teacher id first of all we need to declare a variable here so let me just say over here teacher underscore id you can uh, write anything but since this is a teacher id let's go with teacher underscore id equal to we'll give two second bracket then we are going to say dollar info then we'll give two third bracket to single quotation and here we are going to mention id now what is this dollar info coming from now if we just go a little at the top here you can see we use while loop and inside this while loop we use dollar info uh, in the previous tutorial uh, we use dollar info in order to show the uh, teacher name description and the image so in order to get the id from the database we again need to use dollar info and this id is actually coming from the database 
okay so let me just go to the database and here let me just zoom in here you can see my table name is teacher here you can see and here you can see in the teacher table we have id name description and the image so we are going trying to get the id from here so this id is actually this one so if i now save it and then if i just refresh here okay there's an error at line 120 okay btn double quotation okay so let's go back and here we use double quotation over here but we require to use single quotation here because uh, there is a double quotation outside that's why we always need to give single quotation inside this echo so right now if i save it then if i just refresh here we can see everything is perfect and if i now take my cursor on the delete button then just check on the left down corner it you will see the id if i just take my cursor over here here you can see the id is 10 on the left down corner and if i take my cursor here you can see id equal to 11 which is over here so we are able to get the id uh, so right now using that id we are will delete the specific data from here so for it here you can see we mentioned the same page name over here uh, which is admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php and using this variable teacher underscore id we are getting the teacher actual id from here so right now we'll give a if condition at the top by getting this uh, teacher underscore id so let's just go at the top and here you can see that the php tag uh, started over here it ended over here so here we are just going to give a if condition if uh we'll say dollar underscore get and inside this single quotation we are going to say teacher underscore id uh let me just keep two second bracket here for the if condition so here you can see teacher underscore id now this is actually coming from here you can see teacher underscore id so what will happen is that if someone click the delete button from here then it will go to the if condition which is this one so right now we'll first get this id in a variable so let me just uh, declare a variable let's say dollar t underscore id equal to we we'll say here dollar underscore get then here in this single question we are going to say teacher underscore id so right now uh, the id is in in this variable so we'll now write a scale query so let me just say over here dollar sql2 equal to we are going to say delete delete from our table name which is teacher delete from teacher we are going to say where where id equal to we'll give two single quotation not double quotation where id equal to this one this dollar t underscore id so we are going to say dollar t underscore id and end it with a semicolon so after this let me declare another variable let's say dollar result to equal to uh, we are going to say mysql i underscore query will give two first bracket and end it with a semicolon now here uh, we need to mention over here this dollar data here you can see mysql i connect so using this we actually connect to our database and we store it inside this variable called dollar data so here first of all we are going to mention this dollar data here then we are going to mention this dollar sql to here so we'll give a comma then we'll say dollar sql2 so let me just give a if condition if we are going to say dollar result2 it means if the delete is successful then let's say we'll print something let's say echo or let's say delete success so right now let's save it now let's go back to our browser let's refresh so it's giving us a error uh, at line 32 for teacher underscore id because we only have teacher underscore id when we click the delete button otherwise this teacher underscore id will be actually null so actually we can ignore this error so for it uh, let me just go at the top and here uh, you can see session start so after this let me just say over here error reporting error underscore reporting will give two first bracket and inside it we are going to say zero 
so if i now save it then if i just refresh here you can see there is no error currently so here you can see there is a, at the end you can see test teacher then test on and here you can see the delete button so if i now click on this delete here you can see message at the top delete success and if i go down the image is still here so if i just refresh it should be gone so here you can see the image is gone so obviously we don't want that to happen that uh, we need to refresh the page every time after we delete and we obviously don't want to show the message like this so let me just go in the code and uh, here you can see we write the if condition here so let me just remove this echo and here we are going to say header we'll give to first bracket to single quotation and let me say our here location uh, we are going to mention this page location which is admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php so let me say admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php so what will happen is that after deleting the data it will automatically uh, refresh this page and come to this uh, admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php location so let me just save it and uh, okay let me just add some teacher data from here just let's say over here let's say test two test two let's add a random image from here okay let's add another one let's say test three test three let's add an image okay now let's go to my view teacher and here you can see there is a lot of emails and if i now click delete here you can see it automatically refresh and the image is gone now what we want is that if we click the delete button uh, it will show us a notification that are you sure to delete this so for it let's go back to our code and we'll just directly go down and here you can see that in this echo we mentioned the delete options so here inside this anchor tag i'm going to say on click on click equal to i'm going to give a backslash now this is not a font slash this is backslash then we'll give to double quotation not single quotation and we will give another backslash over here now inside this we are going to say javascript then we are going to say return return uh, confirm then we'll give two first bracket and inside it we are going to give two single quotation and we'll say are you sure to delete this and let's also give a semicolon here at the top over here after this first bracket so let's save it now right right now let's refresh and if we click this delete option here you can see are you sure to delete this message over here if i click cancel it won't delete anything but if i click ok it will delete the data here you can see the data is deleted so this is how you can delete data in psv i hope this tutorial was helpful and if you have any question or any problem you can let me know in the comment section i'll surely reply you back and if you want to appreciate me then please subscribe my channel so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy